garbage doesn't mean it's garbage in 2020. Remember 2020's bizarre world. What is good is now bad. What is garbage is now good. Welcome in everybody. My name is Timmy. You're watching Rudy's Emporium. Hope y'all are having a great day. This video is brought to you by my patron Mark F. Mark says, Rudy, I can do it. Watch this. Hold my chalupa. I. <laughs> I can get a lottery card. So on today's two box opening of Hour of Devastating the Wallet, the one of the worst selling magic expansions in modern time, that's what the that's literally what corporate Papa Hasbro looked like when they saw the sales. A product that did so bad, literally it's going up in value because nobody in their right mind wanted to sit on sealed boxes of Hour of Devastating your wallet. Starting off with a desert, oh, that, that confused me. A desert in a nice little Deadlands foil uncommon. So fun little uh, little uh, trip down memory lane here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to refresh your memory, we have lottery cards in this product, which you get one in approximately, whoa, uncage. Okay, I remember this uh, crazy animal mythic. Uh, I believe you use one lottery card per case, or technically like 1.2. So there's like one lottery card every four boxes, I think. So we're doing two out of four boxes. So I think we have, ooh, Frank Sanity. Uh, I recall this used to be a pretty spicy little card. It had some good financial value. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of the cards retained any of this financial value. Uh, I was told some of these have been actually dripping up in price again. Abandoned Sarcophagus and an Aerial Guide. I think that uh, that Frank Sanity is one of the ones that actually still holds probably like five bucks. I don't know if the Mythics... I know there's Nico Bolas, and of course there's some of the, the Scarab Gods. Or there's, oh, remember that? I remember a braid. Uh, that used to be a big thing. I don't know if it still is anymore, because didn't that get reprinted? And I still found it weird that they chose to do um, the full art cards in like every other pack, or every couple packs. I, I, to this day, I thought that was weird, that they chose to like blend them in to reduce how many full art cards were in existence. I always thought that was strange. All right, here we go. Mythic number two, Majestic Chimera. Um, well, I hope you're a big fan of the old, uh, playing and building green decks there, Mark. You're getting, uh, only green mythics. It's kind of crazy. Another braid and the adorned kitty cat pouncers. The old kitty cat decks, am I right? Way back before they had the animals and secret lair dogs and all these things, there were kitty cats. Survivor's Encampment, one of the better commons in the sets, by the way. And Hour of Devastation, nothing, I just think that's weird. Why do you have a card that's literally the name of a set, but it's also the name of the card? Like, that's super awkward. Like, is there a card that's called Return to Ravnica, or a card that's called Cons of Tarkir, or a card that just says Kaladesh? Isn't that weird? Chaos Maw for a nice little Helion action. And a Foil Common Jackal Warrior, everybody. So, there's, believe it or not, I kind of looked at some of the prices before I did this video. I know, Rudy never does that. And I was pretty blown away to actually see that uh, there's a lot of rares and mythics that still have value in this Eternal there. Zombie Crocodile Demon. I love how they just keep adding words to the archetype that just, like, it just, it just crack me up. So you too can build a zombie. You can use that card in a crocodile deck or even a demon deck. So I was like, well, that's a, 
uh, versatile if you ask me. Split cards, I won't even read it because they're always garbage. So that is the first 12 packs of box one, everybody. I know we're churning and burning. We're looking for the goodies, everybody. Hour of eternity. So I'm trying to remember, like, I remember when I was selling this and it came off allocation period in this thing. What year was it, 2017 or 18? 2017, yeah. And I remember when people were just, I remember, like, emailing the page. Oh, uh, Imminent Doom. I just like the name. I remember talking to many patrons about this product and how many patrons are like, Rudy, you know, I, I just can't buy it. I just, I, I understand you're selling it cheap, but it, I just don't think there's anything of value. It's not going to be worth anything and blah, blah. I just, it's such a weird time, you know. Good old Solemnity. One of the better rares in the set. I don't think it's as expensive as it used to be, but I'm pretty sure it still probably holds a pretty solid value, everybody. If you ask me, it's probably still holding up pretty good. And look at that. Crested Sunmare for Mythic number three. Mr. Oh! Torment of Hellfire Foil Rare. I think this, is the most exp this, this used to be the most expensive rare in the set. Holy crap. Wasn't this a $10 rare? Did we just get the best rare in the set as a foil rare? All right, Mark, that was, uh, that just surprised my Chalupa. That got me out of bed by noon. Okay. All right, we got the old nimble Rudy that's got a funny head. It's okay. Sometimes Rudy's a bird wizard. Sometimes Rudy's just a carrot in, in your front yard. It is completely normal, folks. Wow, that was a really big surprise. And we got Eyes Wide Shut with Stanley Kubrick. Still not worth very much in 2020, but definitely a, a good two-hour investigation to uh, open the old mind up into weird things in the world. And we got, all right, Hazardous, Undying, blah, blah, blah. Not one of the better. So far, we got a pretty, we're only halfway through the box. This is, this is actually a decent Hour of Devastation box opening. Bon Bon, The Last Reckoning. Let me tell you all something. This was a very... This is one of the better, more hot standard cards, and this set was new. That was a pretty pretty talked about, pretty well-selling, uh, pretty active card in the old uh, TCG eBay world. We got Resilient uh, Kendra from the Inappropriate Channels. And uh, not worth much of anything there. Still hoping we can pull some, some spice, but... I just can't believe how much the world changes, man. It really is driven to wasting money. I, I can't believe here we are opening this 2017 Hour of Devastation 2020. And this is considered like a vintage, really cool thing. It just, that's so crazy, man. Earth Shaker, Kenra. All right, everybody. You know the funny thing about it? I, I think, I know this is going to be tough to hear. I feel like, ooh, oh, Still the most expensive mythic? It was. $20, $30, everybody? Holy crap. Mythic number four. Swinging with the Scarab God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a f <laughs> this is a phenomenal box opening. Oh my goodness. Angel of Condensation in a foil full arts planes. Very, very nice. Those were not easy to get. Those were only one every couple boxes. Wow, this is a really good box. Scarab God. I can't believe our foil rare. Best rare in the set. Unbelievable probability to pull that. Absolutely crazy, man. What a good pull. Wow. Okay, let me regather my thoughts here. Scavenger Grounds. I always a fan of all those rare, bizarre lands like Endless Sun. Was it Endless Sun? Yeah, Endless Sands, not Endless Sun. But unfortunately, a lot of these rare specialty lands in this uh, product never really did a whole lot, everybody. Here you go. Foul Blooded. Another heavy hitter. Um, maybe now this might be the most expensive mythic. This was creeping up in price. Oh my god. Five mythic opening, two of the most expensive mythics, full art fancy planes, and the best foil rare in the flippin' set. Absolutely incredible Hour of Devastation box opening. Wow, I mean, we're getting all the good cards and great pulls. Absolutely fantastic, everybody. Champion of Wits. Um, still hoping to hit a lottery card so we can actually turn some nice profit. That'd be really nice to see. But man, really nice to see all the good pools that we haven't seen in many, many years. Definitely a nice throwback there. All right, last couple packs of box one. Um, really hoping to see some a nice big surprise so you guys can see uh, screaming teenage Rudy over here. And we got ourselves. Look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy aliens from Pluto and Venus. We got them. Dr. Nahiba Bubu Pipishire from the Eternal Zombie Minotaur Warrior 
<laughs> mythic number six. So three of the top, all three top mythics in the set. Are you kidding me right now? Hour of Promise. Absolutely mind-boggling. Lottery card, just come on. Hit a lottery card, let's blow it out of the water, ladies and gentlemen. And we got ourselves a Grizzly Survivor. Last three packs, come on. Lottery card so we can have the perfect box opening. How about them, Apple? That's what we're going for. Come on. Here we go. One, two, three. And all right. All right. Um, Last Stand was actually one of the better rares in the set at release. I don't, obviously, I don't think it is now. It's probably like a dollar rare, but holy crap. Here we go. One, two, three. And God Pharaoh's Gift for the swing and the miss. Last pack. Come on, everybody. Mark, amazing box one, man. Couldn't really ask for better stuff except... Ooh, Pride Sovereign. Another... This used to be a hot card. It's probably only a couple bucks now. So that's it for box one. Um, every good possible card. The top tier mythics, everything. But we did not hit a lottery card, everybody. Sorry. We just didn't get there. So we're hoping box two here. We can uh, we can pull through. We can, we can actually see ourselves a nice lottery card. It's been... When's the last time you all seen an actual, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! lottery card pulled in Magic the Gathering Hour of Devastation? I mean, honestly, how long has it been, everybody? I can't remember the last time we did one. It's got to at least be a year, am I right? Angel of Condensation, starting off with a little uh, double tap action. I mean, honestly, I don't... <laughs> to pull one of these things, it's been a really long time. God Pharaoh again. And what do we up? Foil Act of Heroism. Oil Commons. So I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to beat that box one, though, as far as just regular pulls, because we hit everything good. So at this point, we're just literally looking for a um, some sort of impossible to read, bizarrest looking magic card in the history of magic, Eternal, and a Foil Common Desert. So, you know, to this day, this was the once in a lifetime Egyptian theme set. I mean, maybe one day we'll get another one, which would be cool. Uh, there you go, Crest Sun Mare for our very first Mythic in box number two. Go ahead and move those over here. But, you know, I, I you know, an Egyptian magic set was one of my biggest things I had looked forward to since I was a teenager. And, you know, it never happened. And then we finally got the Amon Ket thing, and it finally showed up. And it's just, I hate to say it, it really, to me, it disappointed. This was not the Egyptian set I was looking for, as Wizards would say. Hour of Glory. We're getting all the Hour cards. I noticed that. And it, it to me, it was just... I'm sorry. It was just a letdown. I was really, really hoping for a whole different type of Egyptian magic set. Uncage the Dennis the Menace over here for the same exact Mythic. Boy, we're hitting the exact same string of Mythics as uh, Box 1. That's kind of strange there. Uh, hope you like those particular cards there, Mark. And another Pouncer. Almost feels like we're pulling the same cards in the same order as the first box. Kind of creepy. I go through time. A DeLorean video. Resealed box. What's going on? Frank, this is like, this is like, this is the exact same cards we got at the beginning of the other box. That's super creepy. Like, this is literally deja vu right now. Like, are you guys noticing this? I know I'm not making this up. This is serious. Hour of Revelation and a puncturing blow for the foil common. Anyways, I was really hoping for some completely different exotic Egyptian magic set, and this is what we got. I mean, Scorpion God this time around, and oh, that's our foil rare. So we got Scorpion God instead of obviously the other God of the other box. Um, we did get a Swarm Intelligence for the foil rare. Not exactly the best foil rare, but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I can't win them all, am I right? Otherwise, what would the challenge be in that? And another Adorn Pouncer. That's our third kitty cat for the video. Come on. I want to see the lot. I want to see something crazy. I want to scream and go nuts. And all right, all right, all right, all right. Chris Angel over here, the Sovereign Sphinx for Mythic number four. At least it's something different. Um, we did not actually hit that one in the first box, but it's not exactly a uh, highly sought after card. Hey, Pride Sovereign. There's our second one. Okay. Come on, in the close. Give us the spice. Let's do it. I'm not losing hope yet. I feel like it's still a good chance something's coming up. Oh, did I see? Oh, I hate it when it does that. Something flashes or I see like a, a reflection on the camera and I get super excited. My heart like skips a beat and I think we're hitting something big. And it's just a bait and a switch. Hour of Devastation again. All right, halfway through box two, everybody. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get there. I don't know if we're going to get there. Uh, good old Solemn Entity. 
Very good card. I don't, it's amazing. I think that used to be like a $10 rare. That was like one of the best ones in the set in standard. It's amazing how that's only like a $2 card now. Isn't that crazy? Swarm Intelligence. That's exactly what our foil rare was a minute ago. Come on. We got to get it. We got to hit this in the close. We're going for it, folks. One, two, three. <sighs> Hazaret and a flipping common ambush little dinosaur riding kitty cat. Not the greatest. Okay, come on. Stay in focus, folks. And we got the nimble. Isn't that just the most ridiculous looking uh, Egyptian bird wizard? I mean, am I right? Anybody? Am I right? Come on. Here we go. Lottery card, baby. Come on. Come on. One, two, three. And good old Kenra. Eh. Come on. All right, we're starting to run out of packs, Mark. We're down to the last. We got literally like 14 packs left, man. Bon Bon's last reckoning. Come on. 13 packs left. 13 times to throw the dice. 50-50 shot, boys and girls. One, two, three. Torment of Hailfire. Boom. We didn't get a regular one the first box, but we did hit the foil rare in the first one. So this time, at least we got a regular one. Pretty sure that's, that has to still be like 10 bucks. Has to be still a $10 rare. I mean, that was such a hot card for so long. Hollow One and a foil Carrion Screecher. By the way, I think I just noticed that particular rare. That had some wear in the corner. Look at the top of that card. Like grinding on something. That's crazy. Right in the middle of the pack like that. That's kind of some funky wear. All right, here we go. We got the old Undying and another foil rare. We hit a double foil rare box here. We got Eyes Wide Shut over here. That's just not good. I'm not going to lie to anybody. That's just... I'm not going to sugarcoat it. That is just not... That was not the foil rare we were hoping for, everybody. And we got ourselves last word. Come on! I'm getting desperate here. Please! The gods of Hour of Devastation and Peggy and Wizards of the Corporate Suits, please throw us something spicy. Let us go out on an insane surprise. Come on! Let's do this! And I'll leave to chance. <sighs> Stupid lottery cards are so tough to get. Goodness gracious, man. I remember even when I did mass box opening years ago, I'd get a whole case and not get a single lottery card out of six boxes. And then, like, the next case, I would get, like, two lottery cards. You know, it's just you can't predict that crap. It drives you crazy. Well, uh, five shots left, everybody. Five shots left, Mark, to hit the big one. Are we going for it? We're going for it. Oh, oh what do we got? Oh, God, I saw some weird reflection. Well, we got a Locust God for Mythic number five. We got ourselves a nice little worm for the foil uncommon. Yeah, I'll tell you what, though. Look at that. Everybody notice that? 11 Mythic opening video today. That is really nice. Talk about a fantastic opening video, though. For the regular set. Scavenging Grounds. Come on. Three packs. Come on. Come on. I'm not losing hope yet, everybody. I'm not losing hope. We got three shots left. One, two, three. Uh, <coughs> Two shots left. Come on. Two shots left, everybody. Come on. Here we go. One, two, three. Uh, Mirage Mirror. It's actually not a bad card, actually. It's a nice little... should still be a couple dollars. Very last pack. I'm sorry, Mark. It looks like we did not hit the lottery. We tried. We got a lot of other spice. Uh, ending on a supreme will. Foil common. Well... It's the way the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. Mark, enjoy all the fancy cards. Everything heading your way, sir. What a time. It's amazing. It feels like yesterday to me. You know, when I did this Hour of Devastation box opening, you know, when, uh, when originally when it came out. It feels like years ago. And it feels like just yesterday how time flies. But boy, 2017 was a tough time in the magic world. Like, the economy was doing well and everything else was doing well. But man, magic just really just, it stumbled a lot. And it's crazy to see. How all of us are looking back now, three years ago, and we're like, oh my god, these sets were so great. Isn't that crazy? It's weird how life works. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great day.